What are the chances that we can get Booksmart 2? Well, I wouldn't say no to that, obviously. That's really cool. That Me too. I mean, you really gonna tell these people that the only thing they have left of their son is a letter that you wrote to yourself? So, you and Connor, tell us something, please. Right, um... I love how excited everyone is for this movie to come out. Obviously, it was a huge hit on Broadway. Ben played the role for so long, but you're just 24 years old. Ben is only three years older than you at 27, but there has been such an intense reaction to him playing this teen role. What is your reaction to that? And, and what do you have to say to those fans? It doesn't feel like a big deal to me. <laughs> For a long time, we've been sort of tapping into our high school selves, um, late into our 20s, and that's what we are actors for. I think that Evan Hansen is best performed by Ben Platt as well, and Ben does such an amazing and beautiful job at playing him, and I think that he does it so well, and I, and I think he's such an icon, and um, I'm really happy that he is, um, playing Evan in the in the film version as well as on Broadway. I never meant to make it such a mess. Have you given Beanie any sneak peeks to your role in Dear Evan Hansen? Because obviously she's going on to do her own Broadway gorgeousness with Funny Girl, but do you guys give each other little sneak peeks? We have um, some very secretive messages being sent to each other constantly. Really? Um, I've seen, oh my God. Also, she's my best bud. She is my everything. That W Magazine cover that just recently came out, hello, she is a queen. Yes, no, we had an Evan Hansen um, group chat going between me, Ben, and Beanie, and we were sharing photos all the time. And I'm just so proud of her and everything she's doing. And I know that I, I'm just so glad that I've met her and Booksmart brought us together because we're gonna be best friends for life. She's just really the most special person ever. Nobody knows that we are fun. We know. They need to know. Who's they? What are the chances that we can get Booksmart too and then also get Ben involved as well? Well, I wouldn't say no to that, obviously. Um, <laughs> I would, it's, a, it's an immediate yes on my end. So I'm gonna just send it to the movie gods and hope that something happens. The Booksmart. movie gods, Olivia Wilde, whoever's listening. <laughs> whoever's listening, if you're out there, book smarter. Fast forward out of college, see what that was like for them. Oh, I'm liking we're, what we're- yeah. Things are never gonna be the same, but it was perfect. And I may not have before, but I see you now. And you're all pretty great. <laughs> Don't let college f*** it up. Girl, your career is going at 100 miles per hour these days. So many fun projects coming up for you. We have Rosaline. We have you playing George Clooney and Julia Roberts' daughter. Are you just constantly feeling pinch me moments? Or does it feel like, you know what, at the end of the day, this is just my job? No, I do not. <laughs> the latter is very crazy to me that this is just like, my job and this is just i feel so grateful to to be doing what i'm doing and and to be enjoying it and to be working and i i cannot even tell you how lucky i feel and i really do know how lucky i am i i'm so grateful but i literally can't even comprehend the idea of george clooney and julia roberts being my parents but they are going to be my parents soon and i don't know how i i need to just be normal i just need to figure out how to be calm for that introduction um because they are the two of them like one of them is is a lot but then two of them at once it's like oh it's just a lot i just really don't know how to i really feel like super grateful and i'm so excited i'm gonna go to australia for the first time in my life to make that movie and it's gonna be very fun and i'm shooting rosalind um as we speak so i'm just very excited to be working and i really do love work and it's super fulfilling to me and to be able to explore all different kinds of characters and to be a part of um, different genres is, is very exciting to me. You don't know how much you've given my family and me. Your mom was played by Amy Adams in this movie, like so flippin' cool. Did you get any advice from her and did you fangirl a little bit the first time you met her? <laughs> of course, how could you not? Working with someone like Amy Adams, you'd think she has done every movie you've possibly seen and she is so good in literally everything she does. And 
She is the nicest, sweetest person I've ever met. She is so kind. I really was just in awe of the way she presented herself on set. I asked her about actually like doing promotion for for movies and stuff and how she, cause she's must, she's just constantly working and she's constantly promoting movies. And she was just like, remember to keep the light in constantly. And that was a piece of advice that I really will take with me forever because it's true. She's just like, it, you just have to bring the light with you. And I think that that is how I would describe describe Amy herself. She really is just such a light um, everywhere she goes. And I and I am so grateful that I got to be able to like witness that three feet away from her face and get to connect with her and, and, and act with her and bring a scene to life with her. It was, uh, I, I'll never forget it. And um, I want to work with her again. I'd work with her again and again. <laughs>